All right, so convert each degree measure into radians and each radian measure into degrees. Well, hopefully you figured out that anything with a degree symbol is in degrees, and anything with a pi is in radians. All right, so remember pi equals 180 degrees. All right, so all you're dealing with in radians is partitions of 180 degrees. All right, so just remember these two if you can remember these two things, uh, as far as rating and degree measure go, you should be able to figure out the fraction. All right, so that's it. So remember, these two things are always divisible by five, always divisible by ten, always divisible by two. They're divisible by three. I mean, there's you know there's all kinds of divisibility here. That's why the ancient Babylonians decided to go with a base of sixty. Because you know it was there's so there's so many ways to divide it, all right. So we have negative um, <clears throat> uh, 480, all right. So it doesn't matter that it's negative; it's just going to stay negative if I want to convert it to radians. But he's clearly in degrees, so I have to convert him to radians. So what I want to do is I want to multiply by pi over 180 in order to introduce a pi, but get rid of the degree symbol. Okay, those of you taking chemistry know there's something called linear analysis or dimensional analysis where you can, you know, the, the units cancel out themselves when one is above the other. All right. So if I multiplied this straight across, I'm going to get negative 480 pi over 180. Now, and that's true. That's, that's actually the radian, but it's not appropriate. Like you have to simplify that fraction. Now, right now I can see that I could divide both of these fractions by 10. So I'm going to get rid of those zeros there. Now, 48 is divisible by 6, and 18 is divisible by 6. All right, so negative 48 divided by 6 is negative 8. All right, and 18 is divisible by 6, and that's 3. Okay, 18 divided by 6 is 3. So the pi is still there, and that's it. There's nothing else to do. It's this guy right here. Okay, now clearly he is in. Now pi over 18, like this family right here, we don't, well, I don't know. I mean, actually, if you think about it, pi divided by 18, so that's 180 degrees divided by 18, that's, that's 10. That, that's 10 degrees. All right, so that means I have... 850, I'm sorry, I have 85 10 degrees, which is 850, and it just happens to be negative. So I know my answer is D, I mean, we're just right off the top of my head. But let's say that you, you don't see that at the first, all right? Now you have to switch this around. Now what I just said, I did in my head, but that's what's going to happen right here. I, you can see that I switched the fraction around. Here it's pi over 180, but here it's 180 over pi because I want the pi's to cancel out and I want the degrees to stay. All right. Now 18 will go into 180 10 times. So negative 85 times 10 is a negative 100 and 850 degrees. And the pi's are gone, so that's it. There's nothing else to do. All right, so just keep going, 5 pi over 3. If you memorize your unit circle, you can uh, quickly identify this one, uh, 5 pi over 3. So one way to look at it, let me give you the shortcut here. If I look at pi over 3, I know that that's the 60 degree family. So the 60 degree family, I have 5 of those 60 degrees. All right, and 5 times 60 is 300. All right, this one not, is not as, as clear. Uh, 945 times uh, pi over 180. So I just have to use um, some fractions here. 9 will go into both of them. I won't, I won't actually use my calculator here. 9 will go into this guy, 105. 9 will go into this guy, 20, 
Okay, 5 will go into this guy 21 times. 5 will go into him 4. So I'm reducing my fraction without a calculator there. Now, the reason why I chose what I chose, first of all, is I chose 9 because this is 180, and I saw that this is 900 and then a 45. I could see that it was divisible by 9. So I divided this in my head, and I got 105, and this guy is uh, 20. And then with 105, I saw that it was divisible by 5, so that's 21. And then this guy was also divisible by 5 with a 4, so it's 21. Now, let's say that you... Let's say you continually struggle with fractions. Woe to you. All right. What you can do is if you hit alpha y equals, okay, and you hit enter, you can put 945. Now, this is the people that are actually still watching this video. All right. This is a little, I'll call it a cheat. All right. You got, now never mind the pi. We'll just throw in the pi at the end of the game. Now, when you use this mode, it will actually simplify the fraction for you okay so maybe you know that already maybe you don't but that's that's what happened there all right keep going so 13 pi over now we want to get rid of the pi we want to keep the degrees or change to the degrees so pi pi um, let's see six will go into both of those that'll be two and six will go into here 30 so now oh 2 and 30, that'll be 1 and 15, so 1 and 15. So now I just have 13 times 15, all right? Now I just want to be a purist here. I want to go ahead and multiply this 195, all right? And finally, negative 395 degrees. Now obviously they're all going to be negative, right? Because you're just turning in the other direction. It's going to stay negative. Um, so I need to get rid of the degrees, but introduce pi. So, um, let's see, three, no, uh, nine, nine goes, nine, nine will go into this guy 20 times, nine will go into this guy 45 times. So then 5 will go into this one that I screw up. It's like I screwed 9, I said 20. 9 will go into there. 36, 4, 45. That's right. But 5, 9, over 4. Why am I not seeing this? 9. I could use a calculator, but you know what? I'm not. 9 pi over 4. Huh. Why? Oops, sorry, I'm not mad. <laughs> um, this is absurd. You're probably looking at it and you say, wait, no, it's so clearly. 30, why? 9. 9. Okay, maybe the problem is 9. Thirty-five, not forty-five. I do not have an editor, or I would have etched out the last two, three minutes. I apologize. Okay, so it's not as easy as doing it in your head. So we had seventy-nine over thirty-six. So negative seventy-nine pi over thirty-six. Wow. 
it's too late to edit it. So enjoy my frustration. State of the co uh, given angles are co term. What are we at? 10 minutes, so we'll, we'll stop there. We're going to go 67 in the next one. All right. Uh, a couple more videos left.